what is the fastest way to find the least common multiple of numbers? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there and welcome to Team Laika where I try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And dahil ito yung type ng question na lumalabas sa lahat halos ng mga aptitude tests mula sa science high school test, college entrance test, civil service exam, job intake exam, at marami pang iba, let's talk about finding the LCM. Ngayon, I'm going to show you three different ways to find the answer. Kasi naniniwala ako na walang fastest method per se, pero merong fastest method for you. So you need to figure out which one of these works best for you. Let's get started. So ano ang least common multiple ng 16 at 18? Now, ano muna ang least common multiple? Ang least common multiple ay yung smallest number na divisible sa parehong number na ito. Pag sinabi natin divisible, ibig sabihin pag dinivide mo sila sa 16 at sa 18, ay walang remainder na matitira. Full number ang lalabas. Now, first method tayo, we're going to use the factor 3. We are going to factor 16 first. So, ang 16 ay 8 times 2. Now, yung 8 hindi pa siya prime number. So, ibig sabihin nun, isisplit pa natin siya. Ang 8 ay 4 times 2. 2 is already a prime number. Yung form hindi pa. Kasi ang 4 ay 2 times 2. Now, tapos na tayo dyan. So, we have 4 2s dun sa left side. Sa 18 naman tayo. Ang 18 ay 2 times 9. Kasi 9 times 2 is 18. Ang 9 naman ay 3 times 3. Now, ang 2 at 3, pareho na silang prime number. So, we're going to stop right there. Next na gagawin natin is to look at yung mga numbers na nasa bottom ng 3. Here, you have 2s and 3s. Magsimula tayo sa 2. Now, ang gagawin natin is to count kung ilan yung mga 2s sa bawat side. Here, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 2s. Dito naman, meron kang 1 na 2. Isa lang yung 2 sa right side or dun sa 18. Now, kung alin ang mas marami sa left side o sa right side, yun yung dami ng 2s na multiply mo dito sa final answer natin. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Dahil mas marami ang 4 kaysa sa 1, ang ilalagay natin exponent ay 4. Or, kung allergic sa exponent, ang gagawin lang natin is to multiply 2 4 times. So, you have 2 times 2, times 2, times 2. Pareho lang naman yan doon sa 2 raised to 4. Now, na-eliminate na natin yung 2 or hindi na natin siya kailangang isipin. Pero mayroon pang isang prime factor dito which is yung 3. This time naman, dito meron kang 1, 2, dalawang 3 sa right side at walang 3 doon sa left side. Kung wala, okay lang yan. Isusulat pa rin natin yung 3. So, here you have 2 raised to the 4th power times 3 raised to ilan? Sabi natin may dalawang 3 dito. Ibig sabihin, we're going to have an exponent of 2 right there. 2 to the 4th times 3 squared. Or, again, kung allergic sa exponent, ang gagawin lang natin is to multiply this side by dalawang 3. Kasi yung 3 times 3 ay equal lang sa 3 squared. Next, what we're going to do is just to solve itong nabuo natin. So, we have 3 times 3, 9, times 2 is 18, times 2, 36, times 2, 72, times 2 is 144. Now, pareho ba yan sa 2 raised to the 4th power times 3 squared? 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So, here you have 16 times 3 squared, which is 9. Now, ano ba ang 16 times 9? That's 160 minus 14. Again, same lang siya sa 144. So, ibig sabihin nun, using this method, ang ating final answer is 144. Now, remember that figure kasi check natin kung same yung makukuha natin doon sa dalawa pang natitirang methods. Next, we're going to use yung ating ladder method. Probably familiar kayo dito kasi tinuturo ito nung grade school pa tayo or tinuturo ito sa iba't ibang mga schools all over the country. Ang gagawin lang natin is to write yung 16 and 18. Thus, we're going to form ladders. First, we're going to ask, ano ba yung number na divisible pareho yung 16 at 18? This is common factor nila. Now, dahil pareho silang even, that would be easily 2. Ang gagawin natin next is to divide yung 16 
by 2 and to divide yung 18 by 2 red. So, ibig sabihin nun, dito sa ilalim, isusulat natin 16 divided by 2, 8, 18 divided by 2 is 9. Again, we have a video dedicated dito kasi this is also the way for you to find the greatest common factor naman kung yun ang hinahanap. Next, we're going to look at 8 and 9. Meron pa ba silang common factor? Now, ang sagot doon ay wala na. Kasi yung 8, even yung 9, hindi. Yung 9 divisible was sa 3, pero ang 8 hindi pwedeng divided by 3. Which means, ang gagawin na natin next using this method is to multiply all of the numbers mula sa left side at sa bottom. So, 2 times 8 is going to give us 16 times 9 or, kagaya kanina, 144. So, as you can see, 144 pa rin ang tamang sagot. This next method is something I use specifically kung merong options at kung nagmamadali ako. Now, this next method is just yung listing method. Yung listing method is actually the very first, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, method na tinuturo sa atin. Ibig sabihin nito, if we're looking for the common factor ng 2 and 3, nililista lang natin lahat ng multiples ng 2 at 3. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on and so forth. Next, yung 3 naman. So, multiples nyo rin. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, so on and so forth. Tapos, we look at each multiple and see kung merong nagmamatch. Here you have 6 and 6. So, ibig sabihin ang least common multiple ng 2 and 3 is 6. Now, Bakit parang mas mabilis ito minsan kung tutuusin eh ang dami namang ginagawa? Kasi here's the trick. Instead of listing all of the multiples ng bawat number, ang gagawin nyo lang is this. You look at the bigger number dun sa dalawa. So 16 at 18, mas malaki ang 18. So ang focus number natin would be 18. Now, hindi ko na kailangan ilista lahat ng multiples ng 16. Ang gagawin ko is this. Start listing the multiples of 18. 18 times 2 is 36. And then I ask myself, ang 36 ba pwede ko na i-divide sa 16? May remainder, so hindi pa pwede. Next, I'm going to go with 18 times 3, or i add ko lang yung 18 sa 36, whichever works best for you. That will be 54. 54 ba pwede na i-divide sa 16? Hindi pa rin. So I have 72, hindi pa rin. 90, hindi pa rin. 108, divided by 16, hindi pa rin. 126, Hindi pa rin. And then you have 144 na kung i-divide ko ang 16 dito, ang lalabas will be 9. So, ibig sabihin, ang tamang sagot, 144. Now, for this particular number pair, baka hindi masyadong mabilis for you to figure out na 144 ang sagot kasi marami tayong nililista. Now, if you have options like these, ang strategy works like this. I will look at the smallest number first. So, you have 90. 90 is divisible by 18, pero hindi siya divisible sa 16, so hindi na siya pwedeng sagot. Next item would be 144. Ang 144 ay divisible sa 18, yes. Divisible sa 16, yes. So that becomes our final answer. Listing could be fast, lalo na kung mabilis ka mag-add or mabilis ka mag-multiply. Dito ko na rin nasasabihin na the best or fastest method could also depend on the numbers na given. Kung madali ba i-manipulate yung numbers na yon, madali ba i-figure out yung factors nila, at iba pa. Now, it's your turn. It's time for your quick quiz. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. I'll divide my screen into three parts para makita ninyo each method and how fast it'll take. In reverse ko naman yung sequence. This time, mauuna tayo dun sa listing. So, mas malaking number sa so 15 at 20 ay 20. So, I'll go 20, 40. Hindi siya pa divisible sa 15. Next is 60. 60 divided by 15 is 4. So, pasok na tayo dun. Ang answer natin sa listing method ay 60. That fast. Ladder method naman, you have 15 and 20. Pareho silang divisible sa 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Next level, mayroon pa pa tayong pwedeng gawin. 
wala na kasi wala na silang common factor. So, we're just going to multiply all of these. 5 times 3 is 15 times 4 is going to give you 60. Again, same answer. Next, we're going to factor 15 and 20. 15 is 3 times 5. 20 is 4 times 5. 4 is 2 and 2. Maglilista na tayo. Simulan natin sa 2. Dito walang 2. Dito merong dalawa. So, it's 2 squared. Times 3 na isa lang. So, that would be just 1, 3. And then, times 5. Now, pareho silang pag-isa. So, ibig sabihin nun, isang 5 lang yung kukunin natin. That would be just 5. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 times 5, or, again, 60. So, as you can see, all three methods, same answer. Which one is faster? Nasa sa inyo na yan. I hope you got that correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions here and on my Instagram account, my Facebook account, at sa iba't iba pang platforms where you can find me. If you have any requests for other new lessons, go ahead and write a comment below para maipila natin yan. And if you want the reviewers that I made or if you want to join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika or message us at m.me slash teamlaika para malaman ninyo kung paano namin to mapapaship. Sa inyo. We ship these out all over the country, so um, if you want to start preparing for your next exam and metal math, English, logic items, then these could help you. Meron exclusive explainer videos for the topics we cover here, and each question na meron dito sa practice test booklets, which is actually made up of four different practice sets that could help you not just find the correct answer, but find it fast, employing a lot of the methods that I use myself kapag ako yung nage-exam. So, yan muna for now. As you always see sa channel to, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kain yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.